Are you saying that people don't coom to this? Coom to what? <laughs> a Mega Man cosplayer dancing to BTS? <laughs> okay, we're out. I'm gonna talk about how Twitch is just failing the platform. It's not failing, you are a coomer. <laughs> is that what Twitch wants to be though? Does Twitch want to be a cooming website? Short answer is yes, but maybe long answer is they shouldn't? <laughs> I just wanted to talk about the Twitch meta because everybody was like losing their mind this weekend about Amaranth and Indy Fox with the whole hot tub thing and now with this ear looking ASMR thing, right? Like people are finding ways to sort of skirt around this idea of like what is considered innately sexual, right? And until there's actually some kind of proper punishment or guidelines around the idea of what sexualized content really means like this stuff is going to always happen right like the hot tub quote-unquote meta i can understand from twitch's side that they don't want to just be like yeah tw uh hot tubs are innately sexual and therefore we must ban all hot tubs and people in swimsuits and like whatever right like i i understand from twitch's side why they wouldn't want to just be like oh yeah all this stuff is just innately sexual and we don't want it on our platform we're just gonna do a flat ban I can understand from, like, a, I guess what you would call a feminist perspective, like, a woman's body isn't inherently sexual, right? Like, just because you are a woman doesn't mean that you are intending to sexually arouse viewers, right? Like, I think that's, like, a, that's one of those, like, gray areas where people um, kind of get mixed up here, right? All right, like... You can't you can't just ban like swimsuits out uh, off of Twitch because I think there is that's that's a bad precedent I guess uh, when it comes to this stuff. But the problem is is that obviously by not having some sort of hard rule there, like you're going to get people who are in hot tubs who wear swimsuits swimsuits in quotations again here, and they are utilizing it to bend the rules as much as they can, right? Some girl, exactly. Some girls will take advantage of this gray area. Right, you're exactly right. And it's hard to prove intent, though. Yes, also correct, right? Like, I remember when the first, like, body painter was uh, kind of making waves in on Twitch, and they were putting themselves as art. And it was like, well, th this is like a gray area, right? Where we're talking about stuff like, man, if they're basically painting over an, uh, what is essentially a naked body, is that considered inherently sexual, right? Uh, and so it's it's tough. Like I understand from Twitch's side why it might be tough. So, but the thing, the problem here is with the with the Twitch hot tub thing in particular. Them just creating a subsection called hot tubs makes no sense to me whatsoever. It was like they don't address the problem. They don't even think about like how this could be taken. The problem, you know, like the the for me, Twitch's solution to the whole thing of like they they basically took it as. Everyone is complaining that the hot tub meta has taken over just chatting. And and so their their solution was, well, if it's not in just chatting, then it must be fine. And like that obviously makes literally no sense. Yeah, that's actually a thing now. That's actually a thing. You can go to what is called the hot tub section of Twitch, which makes again no sense to me whatsoever. Where it's the sexy meta for men. So that's a, I mean, that's a whole nother thing too, right? And again, like when we talk about inherent sexiness, right? Some, for some reason, it, it's always pointed to women. Cause like, I don't, I don't know where people think that men don't also utilize their own attractiveness for own personal gain, right? Like, and not even just like fitness streams, right? Like, I'm just talking in general, right? Like, generally people who are more attractive succeed that is actually just a fact of life and not just on twitch but that's actually a corporate fact that like people who are taller people who are better looking and people who are more uh like heteronormative attractiveness uh end up making more money and are like like more likely to succeed than their counterparts that's actually just that's just a fact and and so it's 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 one of those lines where I feel like some women take advantage of this sort of like shielding of of uh of criticism where if people say like, oh yeah, because they're women, they are inherently sexual and therefore should be taken off the platform, like 
no, right? Like, but I feel like some of these uh, women know about the fact that people don't want to criticize this openly because of certain uh, certain things that can be said about the decision. And I feel like they skirt that line, right? In my opinion, the only real solution to this whole idea is that you actually just need people to actually tackle the sort of gray area. And I don't actually think there's going to be a, a one-size-fits-all answer to solving these things because wherever there's like a gap in the rules somebody is going to take advantage and you can't you can't continually make rules as it comes up it's it's impossible you like you're just not going to beat out people who want to get people to beat it <laughs> you know what i mean like you just you're just not gonna you're not gonna win that war yeah like no one wins the war against coomers it's impossible Twitch can do whatever the fuck they want yeah but i think okay I think if I was Twitch and I wanted to actually solve the issue, what I would do is actually hire people to go into these streams and figure out what kind of thing are they soliciting. I don't think it's a surprise that when you go into a stream um, that has that's full of Coomer content that you're going to have a Coomer chat, right? And, like, I don't think it's going to be one of those things that, like, Hey, maybe like if your entire thing is suggestive and you have people in your stream being like, oh, I'm cooming <laughs> in chat, like maybe there's a problem here. You know what I mean? It's hard for me to imagine a bunch of suits in an office discussing about how to solve this hot tub slash ASMR content. <laughs> oh, God. Hello, Jack. What are we going to do about the hot tubs? <laughs> well, Mark, I think these hot tubs are scandalous, but they rake in the money. Thanks, Jack. The staff actually have to do anything? My guess is that they don't. I'm My assumption is that staff only has to intervene when it looks bad on Twitch, right? They don't actually care if there's Coomer content on Twitch as long as no one is, like, talking about it. And then once, once it's, like, a big enough absurdity that they feel like they have to step in, my guess is that's when they, uh, when they play damage control. Yeah, that's the thing, right? Like, I don't think that the indie fox licking ear thing while in a yoga pose like this isn't it's not subtle it's not like she's yeah I, I guess when i talk about these gray areas before i was talking about it as if like they're like i don't know like 007 being like okay guys what's what's the deets on the ruling okay we're that's a clear gray area we're gonna sit in this gray area and we're gonna go undercover it's like no she's literally got her ass hanging out on camera and she's just like <laughs> slobbering on her on her mic like no, that's clearly not okay, and it's, like, clearly not how this platform was intended to be. I think. I don't know. Again, maybe this is just me. Oh, yeah, I thought the funniest thing ever was, like, farting into the ASMR mic. I guess for most streamers, they see it as, like, a... It doesn't bother them, right? Like, why would anybody from, like, offline TV or OTK be like, this affects me somehow? Why is it... Why is every... <laughs> intensive ear licking? <laughs> Oh my god. Why does every ASMR stream look the same, by the way? Why does it all look the same? Why does everybody have the same purple lights? Are you saying that people don't coom to this? Coom to what? <laughs> A Mega Mean cosplayer dancing to BTS? <laughs> okay, we're out. I guess this stuff will just continue forever, man. People will just continue to eat their mics and... Like, I'm just curious... Like what their what their chats are like like five gift subs and you show armpits. This is so weird. Wait, Meg. Wait, hold up. Why are you guys in there? <laughs> this this is this is legit oil massage. Ten minutes. That is just campsite behavior. Father's Day present. Peach emoji. Peach emoji. And she's just laying down with her ass. If you accidentally flash stream, if I just like showed my dick on stream or something by accident somehow i don't know like i stand up and somehow my shorts and my boxers they just all rip to shreds from some weird act of heaven um well maybe my hell uh you know like you would still ban that person regardless of intent right because like that's still that's still not something that like should happen right it's like i guess one way you could maybe defend it is by saying well, like well, there are coomers in every stream, right? And there's going to, you're not going to stop some horny 14-year-old from going into pokey stream and being a fucking weirdo, right? Because they're 14. However, you can clearly tell from watching, you know, like, I don't know, pokey stream or whoever, 
that they aren't trying to leverage sexuality. You can leverage a general attractiveness because if you're showing yourself on stream, you know, whatever, right? But, like, if it's just a matter of banning just, just like, the most overtly sexual content, I don't think it's that, I don't think it's a big deal. You, you know the argument of like, oh, the kids, oh, why, what, why, why, why won't we think about the kids? Like, I just think it's, I think there's just a general etiquette thing in on the internet that, you know, we shouldn't be introducing porn to kids, right? And we shouldn't be introducing, and I'm not saying that these girls are necessarily porn, right? Like, I, I, Twitch is not a site that is advertised as something that is for specifically adults and you can have technically an, an a plus 18 tag or whatever but i think there's also a difference between plus 18 because i talk about you know adult shit in my you know i swear and whatever there's a difference between that and just straight up sexual content right because like i don't imagine that just having the plus 18 tag on twitch would allow you to broadcast hardcore porn right like i don't think so yeah mankind knew they cannot change twitch so instead of reflecting on themselves they blame the hot stuff streams heaven Nora. that's godlike arius oh man i love guilty gear <laughs> not the children i like i don't i don't give a fuck about the kids like it's not it's not our responsibility to defend defend the children but i think there are just like some generic ethical principles that like maybe we shouldn't do Kids will be kids, but parents can't stop everything. Yeah, no, I mean, again, that's that's up to the parent, right? It's up to the parent. But I do think that, like, websites have a moral responsibility to be, like, to set up even a light barrier that says, like, okay, well, the culpability is on the kid and not us, right? And, like, and I don't think Twitch really does that. I think one is, I don't think Twitch is really, I, I think we're past the point where Twitch is a gaming site, right? Like, Twitch is partially a gaming site, but it's also many other things, right? Like, I don't... Like, I imagine that there would be quite a big hubbub if there was a teenager, you know, or, like, a middle schooler who starts going hard on the ear-licking ASMR thing. I bet you Twitch would probably have to crack down on that. I, I yeah, I, I don't know. I guess, like, I don't really have a good conclusion to all this because, like, I think, again, if they wanted to solve it, they could, but they choose not to. Because there is a vested interest to not actually tackle the problem. <laughs>